So people may be wondering this, and it's a really good question. If you're vaccinated, do you still need to wear a mask? And, and the answer is yes, for several reasons. Not exactly the answer people are hoping for, though Dr. Pyle Coley says there's science behind it. Number one, we don't yet know whether the vaccine just protects the individual getting the vaccine or also protects those around them. As in, we don't know if the vaccine will keep someone from spreading the virus, which is important for Dr. Coley's next point. Number two, many of the people around us will not be able to get the vaccine. Like pregnant women, nursing mothers, and those with severe allergies, for example. So in order to protect those individuals, everybody else should really try to get the vaccine in order to slow the spread of the virus. And finally, your mask protects you from more than just COVID-19. Wearing masks has kept flu activity in Colorado at less than 0.1% so far this winter. I wouldn't be surprised at all if uh, if our behavior as Americans changes so that, yeah, like if, if we have a cold or if, if we think we might have the flu, we put a mask on before we leave. Dr. Max Talent says it's probably going to be harder to lose the mask than you think. The psychologist has pretty much gotten used to wearing his everywhere he goes. You know, it's, it's just become this thing that you always grab before you leave the house. Including walking his dog. <laughs> oh, oh, there she goes. She sees another dog. No mask for Artemis, of course, so you may hear her in the background. This is very exciting. He expects masks to live on in a post-pandemic world because people have gotten used to them. And that's what people do. We get used to things. Humans are incredibly adaptable, thank goodness, because we have had to deal with so much change in such a short period of time. Allie Levine, 9 News.